I should really start like writing something down instead of just trying to go off my head. You done there, bud? Did you drink all the water? Anyway. In case you hadn't heard, Bikes, Blues, and Barbecue just got better. Let's talk about it. Last year, Bikes, Blues, and Barbecue, BBB, everything kind of felt a little disjointed, you know? Like a uh, like spoke rim with no hub. It wasn't really a central location for everything. Of course, the Cat House is great. Switchback is great. The whole town of Eureka is great. The whole Northwest Arkansas is great. Downtown Eureka Springs is beautiful, but it's in a valley and it's an old town, not a lot of parking. You know, I mean, that's one of the biggest complaints uh, about downtown Eureka is you can't park. You know, you, you had all of these things to do, but there wasn't nothing really in the middle. You kind of moved around and it just kind of flowed, but didn't really have any direction. Well, this year looked like that's about to change. So people got together, seen the problems, found a solution. Find a need, fill a need. See a need, fill a need. So some people got together to fix some of those issues. And they're gonna call it the Flatheads Rally Point. They got together with a place called 3B Off-Road Park inside the Eureka Springs Adventure Park. Now there's gonna be a place for RV parking, tent camping, concerts, biker games. If you just wanna post up there, cool. You ride in on Thursday, park your bike, pay for lodging and stay right there at, the, at Flatheads Rally Point the whole weekend if you wanted to. So what are your options? You can tent camp with a concert pass or you can RV with a concert pass or they even got one that's right up next to the amphitheater. So, you know, if you don't want to sleep at all while the bands are playing, you know, until midnight or whatever and then that's where the party's going and that's fine. If that's you, that's cool, but that's not me. When it's time for me to go to bed, I don't, I don't want to be upstream from all them sound waves. Or if you've already spent money on hotels, and you just want a four-day concert and event pass, you can do that too. So you already got plans to go do X, Y, and Z throughout the week, but now you just want to dedicate one? Guess what? You can get your day pass. How do you make a rally? More rally? This way. You open up a giant campground with RV and tent camping. You bring in bands. You have biker games. You have a place for everybody to congregate in one spot and then they can go do their own thing but always come back to that central location. You put the hub back in the wheel and everything's going to roll out great. Bikes, Blues, and Barbecue. If you've been on the fence about coming back, it's time to get off that fence get on your bike. Come see us. We're going to have us a good time. Ever since Fayetteville kind of kind of kicked us out of down there, we've been struggling trying to keep this thing together, trying to figure out what the new thing is since the old thing's gone. And it is, y'all. The old, the old thing is gone. But the new thing is coming on. And this is going to be the first step to that. If you've been looking for RV spots, couldn't find none, better get on the phone. If you've been looking for a cool place to camp where there's stuff going on at the campground so you don't have to leave every time you want to go do something or be entertained, well, come on. Make your reservations. Any of this starting to sound familiar. And if you're not planning on coming anyway, that's cool. Hit the subscribe button and, uh, I'll show you what you missed. What I'm trying to say is, historically, Bikes, Blues, and Barbecue is Arkansas's biggest rally. And folks come from all over. The last few years have been kind of challenging. And this here, at Flatheads Rally Point, that's going to start to bring everybody back together. Maybe you. Y'all be safe out there. Take care of one another. Won't nobody else. I ain't got no money. Working every weekend. I begun to worry. Why are you singing, Soros? But you can't carry a fucking tune in a backhoe bucket. <laughs>